French and African troops are conducting joint operations on the Mali-Burkina Faso border. They aim to assert control over the area and neutralize militants who have been wreaking havoc in the region since 2012. But their military alliance is plagued by a myriad of problems. More in this report. Thousands have died in the African Sahel since the 2012 coup d'etat in Mali. The conflict has acted as an incubator for extremism in the region and spilled into neighboring Burkina Faso and Niger. Now, French troops are working with the G5 Sahel force to drive militancy out of the area. The G5S includes Burkina Faso, Chad, Mali, Mauritania and Niger. We regularly receive intelligence, but the difficulty is in reaching the target quickly. We often reach the target and they've had time to escape. But this war won't be easy. Not only does the terrain here favor the terrorists, there are also major differences between French and G5S troops. They don't have the same logistics or equipment as us, but they have important knowledge of the ground and they want to work. The main difference is in training and supplies. Some days, the G5S troops even have to go to the French soldiers and ask for rations. 170 G5S soldiers have been killed in attacks by militants since this September alone. In comparison, there have only been 41 French casualties in the Sahel since 2013.